Hey guys, it's Annie. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I did a chit chat, get ready with me, life update, mental health Monday. <laughs> I'm not really sure what my title is going to be yet, so I'm just kind of saying all those keywords. But yeah, if you guys want to get ready with me and hear a little bit about what's going on in my life, then keep watching. So I'm not going to be talking about any of the products that I'm using in this. I'm just going to kind of talk to you guys. I feel like it's been such a long time. I haven't done a Mental Health Monday video in, I haven't checked, but at least three months, I would say. And back when I was doing them, I used to get so many messages saying how helpful it was for those of you who are also struggling with depression or just have a lot going on in your life. I like videos like this as well. I love watching YouTubers actually talk about their daily struggles or new things that they're trying in like their personal life. I just always like seeing a deeper side of someone. So I love doing these videos. I like that you guys like seeing them. They're definitely not my most viewed videos, but for those of you who do watch these, you guys are the real ones. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys a trick real quick. So I think you probably, if you watch my other videos, you've heard me talk about this before, but I've been watching Harush's videos styled by Harush, where she talks about when you put concealer on, you let it sit for like a minute before blending it in. And it's it just gives it so much of a full coverage. So I've been also doing that with my foundation. I've been just letting it sit for like two minutes and then I start blending it in. It's so strange, guys. It really does work. It gives you so much fuller coverage. I mean, I guess it does make sense. Like it's not like a crazy miracle. Like it's not like that scientific, but I am finding that I'm using less product doing it this way. That way I'm not going in with a second coat. I just get it right the first time. Right, I'm just blending this in. And this is ColourPop Silicone Sponge. Look how huge this guy is. This is my first time using it, by the way. So I guess I'll start out this video talking about my depression and how it's going. I don't know, it's so up and down for me. I'll be really good for a day and then having the worst day ever the second day. <sighs> it's just such a struggle. And the thing that I think sucks most of all is that I know the things that I need to do in order to not get myself in a funk but it's just so hard to make myself follow through with those things. Like for instance, I need to get started right away in the morning, like at least like no later by nine o'clock. And if I get started later than nine o'clock, it takes me forever to get my work done or I wind up not starting anything until about like two o'clock and my boyfriend gets off work at five and then I would just wind up getting in this weird funk because I'm like, oh, well, I shouldn't start anything now because I'm not really gonna have any time to get it done before he gets home, which is a lie because I can still film a video within that amount of time, but I wind up getting in this weird like funk just thinking that I don't have enough time that I wind up just doing nothing instead. So getting started by nine helps me out and also I've been fasting lately which has been helping with my energy a lot. So I don't cut off eating by a certain time or anything like that the night before, which I think is a main thing that most people try to follow when they're fasting. I just don't eat lunch until one o'clock. So it doesn't even matter what time I eat the night before. I just always make sure that I eat at like one o'clock. And I'm telling you guys, the amount of energy that I have in that like period of time, it just, it propels me to get all of my stuff done. It's such a strange feeling. Like I just, I don't know. I can't even really explain it. And if I do have one of those off days where I really feel like I do need to eat, like my stomach's just growling too much and I'm just like feeling a little shaky or something, I'll have chia seeds. If you guys have ever had those, those are amazing and they're amazing for you. They're these little seeds and when you put them in water, they like form into like this like, like flubber. Like, do you guys remember that movie Flubber? But it forms a ball like that. It's just like, almost like a healthy fat ball. I don't know, but I just digest the seeds. You can always put it in water and soak it and it gives it that texture. That grosses me out personally. I feel like I'm like drinking like snot slime. I can't do that. But yeah, when you digest the seeds, that's what it turns into in your stomach. So it expands, it makes it seem like you're eating something, which I guess you kind of are. But I still have my coffee in the morning right when I wake up. We've also been doing an immunity kind of drink. So we've been doing one lemon, one lime, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, cayenne pepper, and turmeric. And those are just all ingredients that really help with your immune system. It has like a ton of anti-inflammatory benefits. And with everything that's going on, like we just wanna make sure that we're good to go. Most importantly out of everything is to just get up and get going right away. It's like you almost need to just outrun all of those thoughts and just you know, be so busy that you can't even you're, you just can't even think about it. I was also noticing that Instagram was really taking a toll on my mood and just really bringing me down because the algorithm just freaking sucks right now. It's just terrible. It's been shitty for a little while. 
you guys have been following me, I'm sure that you've seen me complain about it. But it's just been kind of miserable for creators lately because no one's really seeing your work. Like the amount of people who follow you, only a certain percentage of your followers get to see your work. It's just kind of a mess. I don't know what the hell they're doing over there. But I'm kind of glad that it's happened because it's really been shifting my focus to other platforms, which I mean, I have been kind of doing the entire time, but not putting as much focus on the other things. I've mainly always put my focus into just Instagram. So now I'm posting TikTok videos. I'm posting like two to three a day. I'm back on my YouTube schedule three times a week, sometimes four times, just depending on if I get new PR in. And that's really just been giving me so much more energy and so much more of a positive outlook because there's always something good that's gonna be going on on at least one of those platforms. If you guys are an artist or if you're just trying to grow your platform, right now TikTok is the best way to do it because they're, I don't even know how the heck their algorithm works. It kind of makes no sense, honestly, but it's a really fast way to grow. It's kind of like the way that Instagram started out. So I wonder if they'll wind up following Instagram's lead like a couple years from now, or maybe even a year from now since it's growing so quickly. But now's the time to get on it because who really cares about a year from now? Like now's the time. All right, so moving off of the depression talk, I guess we could talk about my trip being canceled. So I briefly touched on this in another video, but I mentioned that I was gonna go away to Sonoma. So we actually had a trip planned with two of our friends and two of their friends. So we were gonna do like the whole like wine tour thing. We had like an Airbnb booked and everything. So we wound up canceling that last week. It just obviously isn't the right time to be traveling. And even if places were open, it's just not the right vibe and we really shouldn't be interacting with other people just in case. So I'm obviously a little bummed about that. I was. I was excited to be going away and I've never been to California. I've always wanted to go. It was always my dream to live in California, but as I've gotten older, I mean, it's so expensive there. And I don't know. I just don't know if it's as much of a dream as it was when I was younger. I feel like I could almost live anywhere at this point. I think I would like warmer weather year round, but at the same time, I really do like the season changes. So I don't know. It's just such a catch 22. But how have you guys been? Are you going stir crazy staying inside? Or are a lot of you still working? I'm really curious to know, cause I know it's kind of like a split between both. For me, I mean, I'm always chained to my house anyway, cause I work from home. So this is fairly the same as normal to me. And my boyfriend's still going to work. So his work is actually closed to the public. So it's just all the managers, which is nice. So he's not really interacting with anyone else besides the other managers who are there. The only thing that is different, obviously, is that places aren't open. Like we can't just go out to eat to a restaurant, at least around here. I'm not sure what it's like for you guys, but around here, like everything's in lockdown. So restaurants are only doing carry out and even all the malls are closed around here. So it's kind of hard when you know that you really can't go anywhere just to escape or get out a little bit. Like I know for me when I'm in a funk, I like to like go out and go to like Michael's or AC Moore and just walk around where I feel like I'm in a creative space. So it kind of sucks that nothing's open, but obviously I understand the reasoning. On kind of a random note, did you guys see all the videos that are coming out now of Ellen DeGeneres apparently just being a total asshole like this whole time? And normally I don't believe gossip like that, because I'm in the industry, so I understand how quickly things can just be spread around and made up. But Nikki Tutorials verified it, so that means it's true. But on a more exciting note, I have a really exciting like sponsorship opportunity that's coming up with a really large brand. I'm so excited about it. So I obviously can't talk about it just yet, but you guys are gonna be shook. When I saw that email come in, I was like, oh. I never would have thought that I'd be working with them. My nose is starting to run like crazy, which is a little concerning because I'm not gonna say the name of the virus because people are getting demonetized like crazy just for even mentioning it. But I've heard mixed, not mixed reviews, but like mixed symptoms. Like what they're saying in the news is, okay, so it's fever and swollen glands and like you get a, you have a cough or something like that. But Mikey's roommate, um, is her name Katie Hodge? Katie Hodges? Katie Hodge? Um, she made a YouTube video talking about how her and her boyfriend had the virus and he had really bad body aches and it kind of hit him that way and he had a temperature and everything like that. But for her, she said that she had a really bad headache and she was saying that her nose was running a lot and she was sneezing a lot. And I feel like this is such a difficult time right now coming up because allergies are going crazy right now with the pollen. So I feel like everyone's gonna think that they have 
Oh shit, I just said the name. We're cutting that out. But I feel like everyone's gonna think that they have the virus. All right guys, I'm just gonna do my eyeliner off camera real quick and probably my lashes as well and just come back and do the rest with you guys. All right guys, I'm having one of those annoying makeup days where my brows aren't coming out right. This eyelash is like half falling off. <sighs> Luckily I'm not going anywhere, but still. I'm also in just like a weird place with my hair right now. It's so long guys. I wanna get it cut really short. I almost wanna just go shoulder length and just say Fuck it. But I feel like every time I go short, I wind up regretting it like a month after. And I guess it doesn't really matter. Like my hair grows really fast. Like right now it's all the way down here. So it's like to like the end of my rib cage right now. <laughs> and I love it long. I love the way it looks long, but it just can be such a pain in the butt. And it gets caught on everything and it just sheds like crazy once it gets to this length. And I kind of just want to change, but like, I don't know if I really want to go that short. I don't know. So this is the finished look. I feel like this video ended so abruptly, but like, I'm just, I guess from my makeup not coming out the way that I wanted it to, I'm just starting to get into a funk about it. And I'm just like, just end the video here or else you're just gonna be really negative in the rest of it, so. But I'll definitely be making more videos like this. I have so much more to tell you guys. I just didn't get to it in this video. But yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of these style videos in the comments down below now that I have more followers since the last time that I did one of these videos. And yeah, I love you guys. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos from me. And I love you, I'll see you on the next one. My one eyebrow is going crazy today. I need to just start drawing this one up higher. Maybe I'll just start like taping it up. Do like that.